Yes. Oh, well, well, what's Mr. Jones here want? Mr. Jones Jr. or Mr. Jones Sr.? Uh, you don't know. Well, is he a short man or a tall man? Oh, a tall man, uh-huh. Oh, well, then you want Mr. Jones Jr. Yeah. There's no one here by that name. Hey, Chief, there's a man outside with a mustache. Yeah? Yeah. Tell him we don't want any. Right. Uh, just a minute. Show him in. Right. This way, mister. Hello? Oh, oh yes, Mrs. Williams. <laughs> well, you have nothing to worry about. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, yeah, we always get our man. <laughs> hey, Chief, this gentleman. Just a minute, just a minute. It's awful Hello, yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, no, 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 don't bother. I'm going to settle that matter out of court. Okay, okay. Hey, Chief, the gentleman. You want to see? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. oh. Good morning. Uh, uh, I haven't been out yet. I don't know. <laughs> I want to divorce my wife. Uh-huh. This has to be done in a nice, clean way, because I love her. Oh, you do? Well, then don't divorce her. Now, if you can supply me with a nice, safe correspondent that knows how to make love, uh -huh. there's $500 in it for you. Oh, ah, we'll take the job. Have a chair. Right. Give me a cigar, Chief. You keep out of it. Let's have the details. Now, you understand my divorce evidence must be nice and clean. Ah. Our correspondents take a bath every day. You know, I'm going to remarry Dolly right after the divorce. Say, what is this, a merry-go-round? I'll explain. When my rich uncle Dingleberry found out I was married to a showgirl, he was wild. Uh -huh. He arrived in town today, and he's willing to settle a half million dollars on me, providing I divorce her. Ah, you're practically pipped now. <laughs> you get the idea. Sure. You see, after I get the money, we'll remarry. Uh -huh. So you see, I must have a correspondent that knows his business. I see. You want a man with sex appeal. A man that can make love. And have we got that individual? Have we got that person? We've got the greatest lover here since Henry VIII on July the 4th. Elmer, I object. Objection overruled. Okay, you do, Elmer. Now, here's a check for $100 in advance. Count it. Uh, count it. Ignore the ejaculation. Now, don't forget, the name is Dolly Smith, apartment 9C, 10th floor of the Hotel Vandome. Tonight, at 11 o'clock. Okay, we'll be And, that. um, dress like a gentleman. That, that's gonna be tough. That'll cost you $25 extra. Yeah, stop oh. dickering, will you? What do you want to tell them that I could make a great lover? Why not? I never made love. I'm the retiring type. Listen, we got work to do. This is no time to retire. Oh, here, yeah. wait a minute. Oh, here. See this book? What is it? Just got it downtown today. How to make love for 10 cents. Oh, that's cheap enough. Huh? We can use it. You yeah. see, one page tells you how to cook, yeah. the other page tells you how to make love. Oh, for newly married couples. Yeah, all you have to do is read out of the love interest page. Yeah. Don't bother with the cook end. I have no, I couldn't study all that by tonight. You are the... All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go down with you and rehearse you. Yeah, but supposing the husband forgets that we're playing a game and takes a shot at me. So what? That comes under the head of experience. Yes. Yeah. So I've ordered this chap to come up and make love to you. A gigolo. Oh, how thrilling, Wally. Say, now listen, you know, this is only a frame-up. Don't take this thing too seriously. Say, when I get compromised, I want to get compromised good. Why, Dolly? Now, don't be jealous, Wally, darling. But we have to pretend, don't we? Well, I know, but don't try to make me too jealous. Oh, Wally. Oh, isn't that your uncle? Yes, sir. Now, you go on upstairs while I tell Uncle how you've ruined my life. You're telling me? <laughs> oh, Uncle Jeremiah. Wally. You're right, Uncle. Dolly's a faithless woman. I've just discovered she's mixed up with another man. They think I've gone to Boston. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? We'll trap them. Yes. I'll break in and catch them and then sue for a divorce. Oh, no. They wouldn't take their word in court. We need a smart detective as a witness. Now, leave everything to me, and I'll go out and hire one right now. I know, but, Uncle, I... I'll hire the detective. Uh, uh, how about that other case? Oh, I delivered that this morning. Oh, uh, uh, are you the big divorce detectives? Can a duck swim? What? We handled the case of Minnie Mouse when she found out Mickey Mouse was a rat. Uh -huh. 
My name is Jeremiah Dingleberry. How do you do, Mr. Enough of this, Tommy Ron. How do you do, Mr. Huckleberry? No, Dingleberry. Oh, his mistake. My nephew's wife, Dolly, has an appointment with another man at the Hotel Van Dome at 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, don't I know it? How do you know that? But Shay, up Shay. Ah, you see, it's our business to know other people's business. M. Scray, M. Scray in the alley, eh? Now then, I want you to come up to her suite tonight and get the evidence. If you do, I'll give you $500. Oh, boy! Ah, what a job this turned out to be. What did you say? I, I, uh, I said, you just wait and see. All right. All right, then. Now, oh, here is $100 oh, on yes, account. Yes. Yes, sir. Meet me at the Van Gogh at 11 o'clock, and we'll go up to 9C on the 10th floor. Okay. 10C on 11th floor at 9 o'clock. No, no, no. 9C on the 10th floor at 11 o'clock. Ain't that what I said? 11C on the 9th, 10th, uh, no, 10th no, o'clock. No, no, no. The 10th C on the 9th floor at 11 o'clock. I mean, the, the 9th floor on the 10th. Uh, you got me doing it now. Uh, you, better, you better make it the basement. Hey, what kind of a job did he want? Same job as it was before. Only it pays double now. Now we're going to do twice as good a job. Listen, while you're working on the inside, I'll be working on the outside. Oh, boy, I always like the inside job best. Listen, don't forget the cue. What's the cue? As I burst in the door, you're saying to the girl, Come fly with me to Brazil. I want to fly to Kansas City. I got a brother-in-law down there. Send him a telegram, will you? Oh, and I'd like to fly to Chicago and see the streets of Paris. Oh, you got Sally Rand on the brain, huh? I'm one of her biggest fans. Listen, you don't fly anywhere. You understand? Nowhere. You just talk about it. Oh. Just, just conversation, that's all. You, you understand? Mm. And as you're talking, I burst in the door and I say, Ha-ha! There you are, you faithless creature. And we get the 800 bucks. Now, take it easy, my boy. We'll catch her. I'll be right out. All right, all right. Okay. Huh? Where is she? Have you got the cookbook with you? Certainly, I got the cookbook. Oh, all excited. Here it is, right here. <laughs> Young Couple's Guide to Love and Good Cooking. Oh, I wish I was going to learn how to cook instead of make love. Listen, what have you got to worry about? I don't know. All you have to do is repeat what I whisper, that's all. Well, what you read out of the book I say to her? That's all. This woman has got to be compromised with Denise. I'm ready. Yes, here it comes. Hi. All right. All right, sweetheart. I know. Are you going to compromise me now? No, we have to rehearse a little bit first, you see. Oh. So sit right down here. Commence. Commence? Yeah, I say it's immense here, isn't it? Uh, this is nice. My darling. My darling. On page one. On page one. Don't make me say the pages. What's the matter with you? I don't know, dear. I'm all excited. The mental telegraphy, the telegraph from one love stricken soul to the other. The, the mental te Oh, forget that part of it. From one... Uh, it's one to the other. What are you trying to say? I don't know, dear, what I'm trying to say. Makes me realize that you and I could enjoy connubial simplicity. Makes me realize that you and I could enjoy connubial... Why don't you throw the book away? Will you tell me what you're trying to say? Well, dear, you see, I've been studying Polish and I get stuck every once in a while. Well, try to speak English once in a while. I will. Next page. Next page. Don't say the pages. What's the matter with you? What are you trying to say? I don't know. You, you take the prunes and you stew them until they get good and plummy. You stew the prunes until they get good and plummy. Prunes? Yeah, prunes. Wrong page. Oh, that's the wrong page. Wrong page. I got in the cookbook. He was in the cookbook. What book? I said we should buy a cookbook. Stay away from the cook. Every time I look into your beautiful brown eyes. Every time I look into your beautiful brown eyes. My eyes are blue. Says Brown in the book. Says Brown in the book. I don't care about the book. Well, you can't get away from the book. You take the whites of two eggs and you beat them till they're blue in the face. Yeah, you take the whites of two eggs and you beat them until they're blue in the face. Eggs? Eggs, I don't like them. I love you more than my life. Yeah, I love you more than my wife. Your wife? No, no. Turn over. Yeah, turn over. Turn over? Yeah. You're on your back. Yeah, you're on your back. Am I on my back? Yeah. I'm not on my back, you little nitwit. Oh, I'm you're a reading cooking and everything. Listen, forget about the whole thing. Just remember to say, come fly with me to Brazil. Can you do that? Yeah. Come fly with me to Brazil. Okay. Right. Listen, I have to go down and see Uncle Blueberry. All right. 
to the keyhole and see what's happening. Oh, all right. I, I beg your pardon, old topper. I beg your pardon. Oh, my, you, you, you lost one of your eyeglasses. I only wear one eyeglass. Oh, yeah, oh, you're Scotch. I beg your pardon, I'm English. I was born an Englishman, lived an Englishman, and I'll die an Englishman. Boy, haven't you got any ambition at all? Huh. Oh, Ooh, doctor. doctor. I'm looking for Jeremiah Strawberry without the cream. Stop. Oh, oh, there you are. I thought you told me you were a man of regular habits. That's right. Well, you're late. That's one of my regular habits. Listen. I feel I'm saving my nephew from a fate worse than death. Yes. I knew a showgirl once, and after I showered her with expensive presents, yes. she walked out and left me flat. You shouldn't have had her in your flat. What was that? Skip it. Ah, oh, she called me Ducky Wucky. Well, listen here. After this, you're not going to be bothered with showgirls, Ducky Wucky. Ten floor on the ninth seat. No, Nancy, on the ten floor. Okay. Ten floor on the ninth seat. Now listen to me. I'm telling you you're wrong. It's 9C on the 10th floor at 11 o'clock. Are you going to start that again? I'm telling you it's 10C on the 11th floor at 9 o'clock. That's my story and I'm stuck with it. You better be right. Put that down. It's got a nail in it. There's the place right here. Open that door, you faithless creature, you. Hand me that club over there. We'll get All it. All right. Wait. <laughs> no, not that one. Give me the other club. No, this right. is a massive shot. Oh, I see. There. Boy, I'm going to cut your initials right in this door. Oh, yeah. It's him. Let me know. You faithless. Why, aren't you Wally's dolly? No, I'm not Wally's dolly. You, you blundering idiot. Who is that woman? Don't pay any attention. She's no angel. No. Wait a minute. Hey, you. Oh, well, oh, you know, I... <laughs> I owe you an apology. Yeah, and I owe you a sock and a jaw. Well, I'll kick you in the shins if you call it even. Why? 9-4-C on the tent. Well, oh, I... I... Heavens, my husband. Oh, what? Well, it's all right. Heavens, my husband. Why, you dirty, double-crossing little female. You... <laughs> just, just a minute. Oh. If you want a divorce, see me. Ah! Oh, Mr. Mr. Raspberry! I thought you were supposed to be a great lover. I'm laying off this week. You picked the wrong week. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. You're a fine detective. Listen, this is no time for compliments. I'm going. What do you want to go for? Listen. There's a couple of rooms up on the 12th floor we haven't looked into yet, Mr. Loganberry. The name is Dingleberry. All right, have your own way, Mr. Blackberry. Say, listen, that guy's been up there with my wife for half an hour and it's driving me crazy. Oh, that's not a drive, so you're short put. All I've got to say is, I'll give you just one more chance. Okay. Lead on, McDuff. And remember, it's a long lane that has no garbage can. 9C on the 10th. No. 8-4 on the 7th. No. This is the door. Yeah. I knew it all the time. Open that door. There they are. Hurry up. All right, compromise me. Nice thing to be so handy. Stand back, boy. Four! I cannot live without you. Come fly with me to Brazil. I'll save you, lady. I just got out of a predicament like this myself. Oh, stop! Let me down. I want to be compromised. Dinky, go! What better job would you want than that? Come on, boys. Body. Ah! Uh, uh, there you are, you faithless. <coughs> I, I think you're entitled to an explanation. Uh, you're fired. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Raspberry. I'm dingleberry. I, but something went wrong. Say, what's the idea? Well, can I have her if that big bozo comes in and locks your wife in the closet? What? Wally, what's the idea? Listen, honey, you two get in the bedroom and let them find you in there. I'll go on down and tell the folks. 
Uh, wait a minute. Just Will a minute. you go away? I told you you were fired. Listen, you've only got two strikes on me. I'm entitled to another strike before I'm out. Do you think I want to follow you around while you smash all the doors in this hotel? Listen, maybe we're in the wrong hotel. Let's try a couple of doors in the hotel across the street. Hey, listen, I found her. She's in the room next door with her lover. Come up in five minutes. Oh, the faithless creature. You'd better get it this time. This is your last chance. Leave everything to me. They'll have to chase everyone out of the courtroom when they hear the evidence I'm going to get. Basement. No. Nine's in the tenth floor. Have it your way. Now, I don't want any more slip-ups. Now, let's see exactly what you're going to do. Or I cannot live without you. Come fly with me to Brazil. Oh, Alma! I'm not charging you anything for this. Why, you, you, you stay over here until they come. Now, I'll show you once more how to do it myself. This is the one. Stand back. We're going to make a hole in one this time. Six, eleven, forty-four, fifty feet. Go! Ah! There you are, you faithless creature. I can't live without you. Fly with me to Brazil. <laughs> uh, I think we're intruding. Ducky, Wucky! Ducky, Wucky? Dolly! What does this mean? Dolly's my wife. I hired these guys to get some divorce evidence, but you your money. Why didn't you tell me before it was Dolly? So, you're trying to break up a happy home, eh? Mm -mm. Get out. Come on, that's the third strike. We're out. So, oh, you gummed up the whole world. Who gummed up the whole world? You throw the monkey wrench. You upset the whole apple. Yeah, pie. you're the one that gummed up the whole world. Get away from me. Oh, how could I gum them up? You. How could I? All I was supposed to do was knock on the door and say, Open the door, you faithless wife. <laughs> <laughs> 